Hello, my name is Jay and welcome to my YouTube tutorial video. And for this video, I want to kind of show you guys how to sum multiple columns uh, when your criteria match. So for example, over here, assuming I have a uh, sales data, you know, from January to April, and I have these five different sales rep. And I want to get the total sales, you know, based on uh, the sales rep that I'm going to input in G, uh, cell G3. Usually you can just do a sum and some other columns and then you can you know, do a free lookup <clears throat> and against the new column but what happens you know uh, you can't do that you know in your excel spreadsheet you can only use a formula to sum uh, multiple across multiple columns and then that's going to be pretty challenging so i'm going to show you how to write a formula to sum multiple columns and when your criteria match. So I'm going to uh, enter sales wrap name and I'm going to enter Mary. And the formula you want to use is some product. Okay. And my first parameter is array. So my arrays will be an open parenthesis. And this is going to be my criteria. So my criteria is from uh, A2 to A6 and it goes to my sales wrap. And that's my criteria. Then you want to uh, insert the wildcard uh, symbol. And the next parameter will be uh, the, your sum range. And my sum range is going to be from uh, B2 all the way to E6. Okay. And close parenthesis, and we need to insert another uh, close parenthesis and enter. And we we'll get uh, 1800, which matches to. Uh, what we had before. So if I'm just going to put the formula back on, total sales and sum across. Actually, I'm going to put this right here so it's better for you guys to see. And I'm going to drag the formula all the way down. Okay. Yeah. And so here's my formula in place. Now if I um enter different person's name like my name is Jay and I'm going to get 2500 okay now what happened if you need to uh, match multiple criteria not just one one is pretty easy I'm pretty sure but what happened if you have to match you know, maybe two or three or four and the concept is the same uh, except that uh, so I'm going to uh, enter the the state name and the city. So let's just go. And you will be using the same formula, some product. And open parenthesis. Again, you, know, you want to highlight the the cell range that you want to match your criteria. So I want to match to uh, first one be state and close parenthesis. And you want to insert the wildcard sign. And again, so open parenthesis. And again, so we'll do, so you highlight the second uh, cell range that you want to match your criteria. So in this case, I want to highlight my uh, lookout range, cell range, which is city, and match to San Francisco. Okay, should I, for some reason, I just a typo. So I'm going to get rid of that uh, extra close parenthesis. Okay, now we have both criteria in place. And the next step will be just you now highlight the cell range that you want to sum. So it will be from January all the way to April and all the way down. And let me just double check. Okay. Oh, and close. Let's see, and that's my sum range. And okay. That's it. Now, if we just do the same, do like a validation. So I'm going to insert uh, total sales. I'm going to use the sum function to sum everything. Okay, and over here now I get 
1,400 total sales for San Francisco in uh, California, which match to what I have uh, using some product function. And now if I use Illinois State, and since you know, San Francisco does not fall into state of Illinois, and therefore I get the total sales of zero. Now if I you know, type in Chicago, and I get 2,100. Uh, which match to uh, what I have in county. I hope you guys found this video useful and feel free to send me an email or leave a comment below if you have any question. Thank you for watching and bye bye.